Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe, and in this video I'll explain how to add horizontal and vertical lines to a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set appears which is called data and if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data set and as you can see our data contains eight rows and two columns which are called x and y and both of these columns contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package, then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code, and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines 9 and 10. So if you run these lines of code, a new plot object is created, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 11 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new plot is appearing at the bottom right, which is showing our data points in a scatter plot. Now let's assume that we want to add a vertical line to this plot. Then we can apply the geomvline function, as you can see in lines 13 and 14 of the code. So in line 13 of the code, I'm using the plot that we have created previously as basement. And then I'm adding to this plot the geomvline function. And within the geomvline function, I'm specifying the x-intercept argument to be equal to the position in our plot in which I want to draw the v-line. So in this case, I want to draw a v-line at the x-axis position 3.3. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our plot is updated and this time a V-line or a vertical line is shown at the position 3.3. Now we can also add a horizontal line to our plot by using the geomh line function as you can see in lines 16 and 17 of the code. And within the geomh line function we need to specify the y-intercept and again, I'm using the position 3.3 to add a vertical line. So if you run lines 16 and 17 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time we have added a horizontal line instead of a vertical line by using the geom h line function. We can also use both the geom v line and the geom h line functions in combination with each other, as you can see in lines 19 to 21 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm again using our previously created plot as basement, then I'm adding the geom v line function, and then I'm also adding the geom h line function. So if you run lines 19 to 21 of the code, you can see that we have created another scatter plot with two lines. So we have drawn a vertical line at the x-axis position 3.3 and a horizontal line at the y-axis position 3.3. Now another thing that I want to show you is that it's also possible to draw multiple vertical or horizontal lines within one line of code to our plot and I'm showing that in lines 23 and 24 of the code. So in this case I want to draw multiple v-lines to our plot and for that, I'm again using the geomvline function and I'm again specifying the x-intercept argument. However, this time I'm specifying a sequence of values to this argument. So in this case, I'm specifying a sequence between the values 1 and 5 and the sequence should be split by 0 0.3. So if you run lines 23 to 24 of the code, another plot is created and as you can see in this case the plot contains vertical lines with an interval of 0 0.3 between the x-axis values 1 and 5. So in this tutorial I have explained how to add vertical and horizontal lines to a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail. 
and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.